feel like I'm on the news now. <laughs> so this is the, the property we bought. Yesterday we put up a fence on the other side there just to separate. Um, as you can see, this is getting pretty bad. Water rot. What we're gonna do is pull it down so that we can pull the RV in here because right now we're sitting on an angle. And this is more of a level situation. So the plan is to just tear it down and then just part the RV for now while we are working on the, the, the tiny, itself. yep, the construction tiny house. So as you can see, it's a lot of yeah. yard maintenance. He, he already did a lot of work on cleaning the whole stuff, I mean, from every little things. There's a lot yep. of stuff left here from uh, 20 years ago. Yeah, it's been just 20 years. rotting. Yep. Is it safe to be yeah, under Yeah, it's, it's still safe. It's, yep. It's not gonna fall yet. <laughs> not yet. But what we're gonna we're gonna try to save some of these two by fours because they're still good. I can use them on a shed or. We already have a pile over there of trash from broken glass. Still well, we had vandals. Yep. You know, vandals come through empty it's, property. Because it's been 20 years, so we got all those trash. Trying to keep it all centralized so when we order a dumpster, we can just throw it in. He keeps making fun of me being organized. He organized trash pretty good. <laughs> so, so that's yep. that's what we're doing right now. Once we get it done, we'll we'll show you the results. Yep. Uh, we have, as you can, if you can see the the division between our neighbors and ours. We he also put uh, the the fence up just because we're always we're not always here all the time and let me show you how the whole property looks like it's been a lot of work there's a lot of bushes it's been abundant for uh, 20 years that's where the RV is parked right now we got some fence over here and then the lagoon the water lagoon that Mayumi is just so in love is over there. Right now, the water is somehow frozen. That's why there's less water there. Uh, we're going to clean it up. We're going to turn it to a beautiful lagoon. Save the earth. And then we'll go from there. There's still going to be a lot of work. Uh, Randall did a good... Uh, he already made a plan on how we want the tiny house to look like there's gonna be two bedrooms a kitchen uh, a bathroom it's gonna be a kitchen dining or kitchen living room dining room kind of studio thing yep and then two bedrooms and a bathroom so this is our uh, kind of getaway for the weekend or when we you know retire just traveling back and forth from Philippines to here because we got this, a place. this is gonna be free Pay. and clear taxes Pay. only yep paid off so nice. at the same time if my Yumi wants to come back here she got a place to live you can sit listen to the water yep it was nice the birds and the, the air the air is clearer Cr too clear crisper. yep yep so I'll smell more of nature we'll keep you posted The cleanup begins. Finally, it's down. Woo! All the hard work, clean up. So, will this fit in there? Oh, yeah. Perfect. There's a tape measure in there if you want to measure it. 
car. We'll have to clean up all that brush. But the front end will stick out a little bit, I think. But so is it going to be facing that way or facing this way? I would drive, oh, the front end will be here, I guess. We'll drive it in. The door will be on that side. Okay. Or we can get it as close to the garage as possible so our power goes in. Correct. So you got to back it up. Yeah, we'll back it in. All right.